Hey, what's up guys? Today in this video, we are going to look at how we can utilize the HTML5 notification API to send out notifications to the end user. Now, the notification can be sent from two different places because Electron has two different processes. So we will see how we can use the front end process or the renderer and send HTML5 notifications. And then we will see the other one, which is you know, through the main process, we will be sending a notification. Both have a little bit of you know, difference in the syntax that they have, but they pretty much do the same thing. So the overall idea is to show notifications to the end user and let's see how that is done. So I have my app running and what I will first try and do is on this particular thing where I am uploading images, right? Why don't we try and show a button and on click of that button, we will be able to generate a notification. So we go to manage documents screen. Let's see how we can do that. We are inside index. We have the upload form. Then we have the documents. Why don't we have one div over here or a section tag? We'll have a button called notify as well, which renders over here. Now, what I will do is generate a function or have a function called notify user. And I'll call this function on the click of that button. And in here, we will use the HTML5 notification API to show the notification. So the first thing that I will do is I will take the permission. So I have notification dot request permission then now i'm not doing anything with the result as of now but we will create a new instance over here the first argument here is the title and then can i see this yes so it takes body data and stuff like that fair enough so let's do that So I have some content so that I can show you that this particular thing can actually come in two lines. So we go over here inside our application. Now I'm not sure if I will be able to show you the notification while you know, the rendering is happening. Let's see. Okay. It doesn't come up, but can you see this thing? It says sample notification title this is the body content of the notification which can span to more than one line and this is what we wanted so this is utilizing the html5 notification api and showing us native notifications on the system and this was done inside the render process but what if we want to show a notification when the main process has done something now that's where the notification api of electron comes into picture they have a very nice documentation so you can see i have first shown you how the html5 notification from the render process works and now we will see how the main process right where where is it this thing works but obviously i will show you how this is done it's a very straightforward thing we don't need to follow the tutorial and this is what is happening over here. So those of you who are not aware of what is here, I click on upload. It gives me a form where I can select a file and upload it. And once the file has been uploaded, it kind of shows over here. Now, what I want to do is once the file has been successfully uploaded, I should get a notification. That is the requirement. So what I am doing over here is on the upload, this is the IPC render event, which is getting called, which is upload complete. My main process is listening to that. Sorry, my bad. This is what is getting called on handle submit. I call the file upload. The main process handles the file upload. It uploads the file to my API and then it calls the upload complete. Now I have the ability to either raise the notification here 
using the HTML5 thing, which we just saw, right? I can, I can basically copy paste it in here. Or what I can also do is just to show you that it is possible, we will use the notification thing from Electron. So what notification does is it allows us, sorry, I need to do a new notification. And this, unlike the front end one, doesn't take the title as the first argument, but it takes only one thing, one object where it has title. This notification from main process. And let's just say the body says the file upload, the file was uploaded successfully, right? And that's about it. So now let's go to documents upload file. I'll choose a random one. Hit save. And let's see. Okay. I'm not sure if it is the render which is causing a problem. Sorry, the recording which is causing the problem. Okay, my bad. Actually, I forgot that on the main process, we also need to call the show function for it to work. So let me try and upload one more file from here save and now i can see notification from main process the file was uploaded successfully so this is a neat little way for us to send notifications or rather show notifications for our app to the end user and it just you know kind of gives a better experience because instead of those tiny little things it gives you a much more cleaner and more native experience because I have seen a lot of applications which I use on Mac or even on Windows showing native notifications for certain kinds of events that happen. So yeah, that's about it guys. That's what I wanted to show you in this particular video. Do let me know what are your thoughts. If you are facing any problem, feel free to comment below. And yeah, if you like this video, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.